I'm sharing with you this mini album that I created. The book measures six and a half by eight and three fourths. The spine measures four and a fourth inches. I counted 133 pictures that um, can be inserted into this book. I use the DCWV paper line and I use the um, Heartfelt Creations die cut to cut all of these flowers out and glued the rose down. I or glued all the flowers down, but I created this um, pretty rose petal. I die cut all four of these butterflies. I colored it and then I lacquered the top and added bling uh, on top of it. I add, um, included this hoop and loop closure. On the spine, I just used this alligator print and left it. And on the back, I glued the lace and the bling down. On the first page, I created this belly band with the um, butterfly and the flourishes and added the bling on the front of it. On each page, I try to add and include um, bling on, on every page. This first page will pull out, and I have three picture mats that's been double-sided in this first pocket. All of the picture mats throughout the book are all double-sided, and I also included magnets to close the pages. Over here I have a small pocket with a couple of mats for this pocket and in the middle I have one large mat, a medium size and a small picture mat that goes in this pocket. I have a, another pocket here on this page with one medium size, a second medium size, and a small journey, journaling spot for that page. And I have this pretty rose flower here with bling in the middle with the flourishes. Both of these pages are identical. I cut this flap out from the paper line on both sides of the page. I double matted it and added flourishes, the butterfly, the bling, and the lace on the side. On each page I have two medium size matted, uh, double matted mats and a um, medium size picture mat, so three and then three on that side. wanted to show you this pretty butterfly that I die cut out and I colored it and then glued it down. This page will fold up. And this page will fold down. And this page will fold out to reveal a small pocket here with a couple of mats for this page. And here's a large space here also for a large picture or two small pictures. On this page, I created a small little pocket on the bottom for a couple of journaling spots. This is a flap that folds up. It's an accordion style pocket. It's, it has an expandable pocket where you can add a lot of pictures in this pocket, but I just included three large mats. And I also use the Martha Stewart punch to punch the border on each page. I have another pocket here. I cut this real pretty rose picture print out of the paper line and double matted it to create that pocket. And there's three picture mat that goes into this pocket. And 
over here on this side. I have a large mat, a medium size, and a small journaling spot to include on this side of the page. On the bottom of the pocket, I have I included this um, pretty butterfly with the flourishes also. And of course, lace and bling on this side. Over here, um, this is a ribbon closure. I put a magnet inside the ribbon to close this waterfall. I have four pages for the waterfall that's been double-sided, double matted. So you can add eight pictures here and then a large picture on the bottom. This uh, page is also a pocket page. I added the bling on the side there and two mats. You can add more, quite a bit more pictures into that um, pocket there. This page I left, left um, with the pretty um, print, but I put bling around the edge of that page. This will fold out. And I have three mats in this page, this pocket page. In the middle, I have two, well, one large and one medium sized mat here on this side. On these two pages, I added um, lace and bling on the bottom of each page added the pretty um, floral decoration with the butterfly. This page will flip up. Up here you have a small pocket with three mats. And this bottom page will flip down. No, it will flip out. And there's three mats in this page. In the middle, I created this side pocket here with the lace on the top with a couple of mats and a small journaling spot. Here's another pocket that has a large mat, a medium size, and a smaller mat for this page. And I included the flowers also on the bottom there. Over here on this page, I have two pockets that I that I created. This is a large pocket. This one's a small pocket. I have two large mats that go into this top pocket, and two small journaling spots that go into this bottom pocket. And then over here. I created this pretty belly band with the bling in the, around the edge of the top part. Oh, and I also um, used the Martha Stewart edge punch to punch out the edge here on each side. This page will flip out. And there's a couple of mats for this page. I cut the edge of this out from the um, paper line and double matted it and created this pocket. This will flip, this page will flip out. And I have a couple of mats in this pocket. I cut the birdhouse out from the paper line and matted it. And so you can add a couple of pictures behind it. In this part, I have a large um, pocket here. I've got three large picture mats that go into this side. This book has six pages. Two, three, four, five, six, including the front and the back. It holds a lot of pictures. 
And so I went ahead and when I created the uh, hoop and loop closure, I gave it enough um, play right here um, so that when you add the pictures, you'll, it will expand to be able to hold a lot of pictures and it won't be too tight. Okay, that's my book. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you. Bye now.